Carvone with Pride tells a true story and tells it perfectly. Hi! I should think every young actress of my age would have longed to play that character. That character is Violette Jarbo, a half-French mother of one, who, during World War II, was recruited by the Special Operations Executive and sent on two missions into occupied France. She was feisty and, and courageous and undaunted, really. She never presented um, a weak exterior to the enemy, ever. Up here. I think many people thought that all women done in the war was be nurses or work in munitions factories. And to see Virginia romping round the limousin with a machine gun, picking off Nazis, was a really quite moving and shocking experience. Virginia McKenna is almost preposterously beautiful for the part. She's wonderful in it. She's so sympathetic that you're really with her all the way. Some films affect you more than others, and this certainly affected me tremendously. I, I found that at the end of the day, driving home after work, um, I couldn't really shake it off. She was able to bring out not just the courage and the humanity of Violette Zabo, but also um, the sheer horror of what happened to her in the end. On her second mission, Violette was captured by the Nazis, tortured and eventually executed at Ravensbrück concentration camp. She was just 23 years old. The execution scene is much more discreet than, uh, than filmmakers tend to go in for these days. Um, and I, I think that's all the more moving for it. By order of the Führer, the three British agents, Denise Bloch, Lillian Rolf, and Violette Sabo, are to be shot. This was the true, in a way, British way of doing things, where you hold something back and allow other people to feel more. Run! camera turns its gaze away it's almost like it's too much and you hear the shots ring out and um, it, it's terribly affecting because it was a true story and a real person sometimes they never quite leave you actually never quite leave you <laughs> <laughs> 